why the car will crank and not start. So if you have an IS300 and this is uh, happening to you where your car will crank. Um, you know, I almost didn't even grab my camera out of pure habit because I'm so fucking irritated uh, with my brother's IS300. Because whoever had it before him, I don't know if Daryl did the work or whoever had it before him, just was so fucking janky with the wiring and cutting and leaving shit exposed. So like when water hits this engine bay or some shit or whatever around the car, shit just shorts out all over. So I'm sitting in bed this morning and this fucker, I hear the car start, he's going to school, I hear it die. And I'm like, it's weird, my car only does that. Tries to start it again, it's just cranking forever. And I'm like, son of a bitch. Here he comes, here he comes, opens the door. Hey, can you come help me fix the car? I'm like, motherfucker. So I've been sitting here for like five hours calling people trying to figure out what the fuck is up. It'll crank, but there's like no start. You, you immediately think, oh, fuel, fuel pump. No, we checked all that shit, it's fine. But the fuel pump is not getting its power where it needs to. So if you get a, a crank, but no start, and it's there's no power at the fuel pump, Cody and Scott, who are the fucking master techs of Lexus, or the IS300s at least, these motherfuckers are just God. Um, there's three relays that are going to be in line with it. There's that pump, fuel pump relay over there. Check for that. That thing's good. There's the circuit opening, and then there's the EFI. Electronic fuel ignition, I'm, I'm assuming. I don't fucking know. Anyways, the circuit opening one, that's what you got to go for and check immediately to see if when the car and the key is put in the on position, you have to see if the two top leads. Let me see if I can even pull this thing out. It's going to be a better mode for this. Okay. These two right here, when you go and test those across, you should not be getting power at all when the key is off. But when you go back and you test these two across and the key is put in the on position, you should be getting uh, voltage. I'm getting nothing. So I know that that is my problem. The ECU, like Scott just said, believe me, I may sound like I'm educated and I know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm literally just learning about this as I go. So I guess I'm kind of cheating. I'm just relaying information to you guys. I'm no master tech, but I'm the fucking learner. They said that the ECU is not actuating that circuit opening, which is not actuating the fuel pump to come on. It's not like sending that signal. That's why we're getting no power back there. So Scott just said, check out the fucking fuses in the kick panel and see which ones are dead. So thank God I have a hundred boxes of fucking fuses. So we can just check them all. It's also pretty funny about uh, beginner tech over here is I didn't know in the back of fuses that each one was engineered to have, or engineered, Jesus Christ. Each one was made to have a little opening right there so you can put the, the, the leads without pulling the um, fuse out to check it for continuity. So they should make a beeping noise when you tap it here and here. So I checked two, two are gone. You gotta replace those and go from there. What the fuck is this even wired, dude? Uh, I bet you when you take it out, it'll be fine. Oh, it's burnt the fuck out with that, bro. Is it? All right, let's zoom in on this bad boy. Yeah. Why won't my car start? I well, think that's the sun. You see the broken fuse? Is it is it focused or no? It's Jesus, are you fucking retard? I gotta put all this on camera because you don't even know how to do any of this right now. Okay, now we're gonna zoom in. Now we're gonna look at this. Focus and we're gonna darken again. Oh wait, darken. Damn, bro, there's a whole lot of shaking to this fucking video. Yeah, it fucking works. All right, right there, you guys can see that fuse is fucking busted. So this is the ignition fuse, and for some reason there's a weird-ass fucking wire right there that's sitting into the ignition fucking fuse line, which I don't know who, what the fuck that one's for. Um, we'll just have to check this out and see. What? Now let's check this for continuity and see if we're good. <sighs> Come on, just start, you bitch. Look at that, stupid fucking ignition fuse. You, what pisses me off is like, you can spend fucking... 8 a.m. 8, 8.40. It's, it was a 7.5 amp fuse, and that was the problem. And I went for a fuel pump, and I, and I looked on the forums, and people are saying, check your fucking knock sensors, and look at your clutch delay valve hey, bro, and check your fans and it's just just fuck you internet stop fucking confusing me it's so simple ignition fuse blown done put it back in call it a day but that was, that was a four minute fix and that happened in uh, four hours I, you wouldn't believe the work i went through just to figure what the fuck out was wrong it's stupid it's so stupid 
I think it's more annoying than not having these in your car. If you don't know what these are, they're actually small turbos for the front of your car so that the air is forced in to your intercooler faster. Because that's not enough. You need these as well. And they make noise too, which is pretty sweet. Two big guys that paint these, I think those are hilarious. It's the funniest things on the planet. Ooh, horn horn paint mod, bro. What did you do today? Fucking painted my horns. Like, what are you doing? So I got one clip there. Where's the next one? Are they both down there? Ha ha! Look at that. Now let's fucking plug them in and see if they work. Uh, well, I guess that was a fucking fail. They don't work. So I checked for voltage there. So the horn relay is sending the power. When I press the button, you can hear it click over here. So I'll press the button here, like that, and you'll hear it click over there. But it's not, like it's coming to, the power's coming here, because I, I put the prong in there and checked it. It's just, these horns are probably dead. So maybe I'm gonna have to buy the aftermarket Subi red looking horns and mount those bitches up there, even though I just made fun of them like 30 seconds ago. Fuck me, right? <clears throat> I need to go shave this fucking beard. This thing's getting nasty. I think anybody's even like seen like current video of it. Nothing new is going on with it. It's nothing too different. Oh, I got my uh, my 2018 tags over there. So you know, because my car is smog legal and stuff. Oh, I sold the HKS. I'm just gonna run a straight pipe. I was gonna go and buy the carbon TI. Peru's kind of talked me out of it, and he goes, you know what, why would you spend five or six hundred bucks on a carbon TI when it's still going to muffle the noise, and if you're getting a truck to pretty much daily drive, you're not going to be daily driving a straight pipe anymore. You only want the straight pipe to have cool noises on the weekends. Save six hundred bucks. I'm like, smart fucking guy. I'm not getting a damn carbon TI. I'm going to leave that one there, how that is. So... Yeah, that's that's pretty much what we. I, gotta, I still gotta put the fucking catch can on. Have not done that yet, and I, it's because mine is a vented catch can, and I like the idea of what a few people have done. Like Scott has on his, he has a uh, recirculated catch can with no vent, so it's just pulling vacuum from the intake, and that's how it basically like pulls the oil into it. Whereas this one's just going to atmosphere. I don't really like that. Give me some money. Spot. Still sounds sexy package to show you. It's not 3DX tech, that's not what it is, but this is from BTI Gauges. Thank you, Brandon. This is gonna be sick. I don't want to keep showing you the box because it's got the fucking address on there. So we're gonna open this thing up and you guys are gonna see what Brandon Talkmit of BTI sent me for this car, which is gonna start off this new series of videos and this thing in here oh nice diesel yeah i gotta get my dick hard dude fuck <laughs> throw your black smoke all over my driveway love it <laughs> can't wait to have one of those brandon uh sent me a uh, 3.5 inch lcd display and we're gonna be putting is we're gonna run through it and you're gonna see how sweet oh he's getting it Holy shit. We're going to see how sweet this display is compared to like the, I mean, I, I'm not going to have the other ones to compare, but I'm just going to show you how nice this display is. And it's fucking cheap compared to like what you can buy for what this thing does. I'm pumped. I'm going to open this up. We're going to unbox it real quick. And then next video, I'll be able to install it, um, do some runs with it and show you some of the features. Because I'm going to talk to him again this week. And we're going to learn a little bit more about the gauge. So he's going to teach me kind of like, the functions in there so I know exactly what I'm relaying and the information to you guys so I know I'm not just feeding you a bunch of bullshit so I know what I'm talking about so let's open this thing up let's get this razor blade out there and let's we'll see what comes in the sexy box fucking god damn oh, he fit that one there nice my motherfucking dude Brandon god damn it so pumped get this thing off me okay so pumped so sweet we're gonna leave this right here product placement. Look at look at how that beautifully pulled out of the package. Such a smart, such a smart guy. Alright. 
One more. Okay, so what comes in the box so far? Oh, we got Brandon's sexy card. Got the prong for the gauge to go to the AM net. I'm not sure what this is. I'll have to think about it and see what that part is. Oh, nice little suction cup mount too. God damn it, man. This is cool. Smart to include that because who knows where I wanted to mount it. Fucking smart guy. It's a cute-ass little sexy mount too. Fucking there. We have a uh, dial-up phone cable for your... Uh, your SBC modem router, your dial-up internet. I'm just kidding, this is the display. I mean, my hand is a monster size hand, but this is a sexy piece of equipment. That's what it is right there. There's our, I'm assuming that's gonna go to the, I, I'm just, I'm unboxing this and I have no idea how to even talk about what it is. I know this goes to the AM net. Um, sweet wiring too, look at that, nice job there. Don't pay attention to my nails, but nice job, nice job, like that. Okay, now let's get to the screen. Let's check this. This is dope. Oh, it's such a sexy screen. God damn it, that's nice. Oh, that's cool. He even has the back plastic cut out to where it says BTI. Fuck, man, that's slim. Look at that. Slim like my fucking... So this is going to plug into whatever this function is called. And then from here, we're going to plug that into this here, which will go straight from that to... This, and then this will go, I'm assuming, to the AM net. I think that's what it is. Yeah, it will. Perfect. That's fucking sweet. Wow. There's your box of uh, BTI stuff right there. Brandon, you are a fucking B-A-M-F. Love it so far, man. This is sweet. Oh, shit. Little suction mount. That's how everything fits back in the box when you pull things out. Doesn't, doesn't that, anybody ever notice that? When you pull something out of the box that it was originally packaged in, it never fucking fits back in the box the way it was originally packaged? Impossible task right there. Next episode. Next episode on Dragon Ball Z. You'll find out what happens with this gauge when we plug it into the car. No. Uh, next uh, video, I'm going to post us hooking this up. If I can wire it in correctly. I'll have more info for you guys. And we're going to do some runs because there's things that are wrong with my car right now that this screen will be able to tell me immediately, which is awesome. So I don't have to wait and look back at the log on my computer. I can just see exactly on the screen. I know if it's a fuel cut, if it's a coolant cut, uh, et cetera. That's, it's so cool. Can't wait to use it. I'll be wearing my sexy BTI shirt as well. Um, maybe a size too large. But, you know, I'm a little large around these times of year. So, that'll come soon. Next.